Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. A tremendous year up at WNCC to recap here as we get to today's update. The WNCC women's basketball team finished up last weekend with a final four appearance and 30 wins for the season. Chad Gibney's team went down to Lubbock, Texas and won three games at Nationals before losing in the final four on Sunday to eventual national champ Tyler Junior College. The three wins at Nationals gave them 30 on the season and wrapped up one of the best years in program history. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our ladies played a tremendous tournament um, and, and had an unbelievable, uh, you know, the entire season was fantastic. So really happy for them, uh, proud of them, and, and the job that they did representing, uh, you know, Western Nebraska and obviously the community of Scott's Bluff and Gearing. As for that final game, it was a double-digit loss to Tyler. Yep, they, they, they were a really tough matchup for us. Uh, Tyler obviously went on to win the national championship. Uh, and, and like you said, their, their physicality, their size just really wore on us. Um, I, I thought our girls competed so hard uh, and, and we did the best job that we could, uh, you know, but in the end we just came up a little bit short. Well, the names on the back of the jersey at the junior college level are always changing. With the end of the year comes the end of the line for one of the best players in school history. Clemson signee Alicia Douglas, she scored 68 total points in the four games at Nationals and in the loss to Tyler Douglas, scored 31 points to lead the team. With that effort, she went over the 1,000 point mark in her time with the Cougars, a special player for the head coach. One of the best players to ever play here. There's there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, obviously, if you just look at the statistics, those show. Uh, but I think more just the day-to-day -day, uh, of how she works, of how she prepares, uh, of, her, of her mental and physical toughness, uh, you know, is, is what we could be most proud of. Uh, you know, certainly, uh, we'll, she'll be she'll be missed uh, heavily, um, but you know I'm really proud of the career that she was able to have here. Gibney says the work never stops, and he's already at it, trying to get the roster ready for next year. Well, Volunteer Field, the home of the Cougar softball team, was getting some work done late yesterday morning with some home games finally on tap for the team this weekend. They'll have their first home games of the season coming up this weekend. Games Saturday and Sunday there at Volunteer Field against Trinidad State. The WNCC baseball team there at NJC today. They'll be at Trinidad on Saturday and Sunday. You've got spring sports at the prep level starting to get into high gear. Girls tennis in town today for Scott's Bluff and Gearing. Girls soccer on the road for Gearing and upcoming boys. Golf and track and field meets are on tap this weekend in different spots around the region. Spring sports is here. That's the latest today. From the FNBO Sports Desk, I'm Chris Cottrell.